uh, real estate market update now. Um, man, isn't it crazy out there right now? It's crazy out there, guys. Um, it's like one listing or one seller to 15 buyers right now. Um, you have to have a very aggressive realtor in order to like, you know, uh, get a house. Um, obviously, you know, uh, I have been in the industry for like 18 years, 20 years now uh, in mortgage and real estate. And then we have our, my man, Joel, he's been in the industry for almost three years, plus three plus years. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for a good team, you know, you can definitely call us, um, you know, uh, call me at 682-313-2435. Um, I want to just give you a little bit of rundown what's going on with the real estate side of it. But before I do so, I want to just let everybody know um, that market is crazy. It's 200 uh, buyers uh, on the list for new construction right now. So if you go buy a purchase a new construction home, you have to be on the list of uh, buyers. And you have experienced that a lot, right? Yeah. You uh, Talk about your, um, like, last couple of deals, what's going on with it, like, a little bit of highlight of it, you know? Oh, yeah. So uh, one of my previous buyers, they finally just got a contract for new construction, but they put their stuff on the list, I, I, I want to say, about two months ago. Uh, but in the meantime, they we were considering buying a pre-owned home or, you know, just, you know, just a standard home on the market. But, uh, man, I don't know. We went, we probably went through, with them specifically, we probably wrote about 10, 10 to 12 offers, and we came, like, number two, no, number three. Um, you know, we just couldn't get the, to that number one spot to, to get that executed contract. Uh, so, finally, I guess, I, I believe it was last week. Yeah, last week, they finally, uh, the new construction uh, builder called them. They had an appointment. Um, they finally went on a contract. So, it's... It's pretty crazy compared Great to job, this bro. time last year. I mean, you can pretty much just walk in the office and sign a contract for a new construction home. And now I, I would say like the average wait list is probably somewhere between about two to three months before you even have an appointment to even sit down with the rep. So with that said, you know, you you got to have a team around you that it can find you solutions, you know. Mm -hmm. So at as I said, XPT Realty, we'll, we'll make sure that you have all the options you um, need or you want to have, um, you know, give you the right, right guidance, you know, what you need to do to sell your home. Um, you know, right now, everything is selling 25, 30% over asking price. Um, you know, uh, so it's craziness going on. Um, just want to mention our sponsor. Uh, we have our new sponsor, uh, Core 4 Contractors, uh, Roofing and Construction. So you can call Mike uh, Burns. Uh, at 817-996-1888. Uh, that's core for contractors for real estate. Uh, just to give you a little bit of update what's going on on the market side of it. Right now we have, um, last week, we that's a seven day update. Uh, we have 1,983 homes uh, came on the market. Um, we have about 3,200 uh, 3, homes that are pending to sell in past seven days. And uh, last week we had 26 hundred homes that were sold so we're quite low still uh as far as the pre-owned inventory goes and the market update that i do here and give you those numbers uh, that's all pre-owned it's not in uh new construction because new construction is not an mls or or on zillow um so um joel uh, do you want to like uh tell an audience about the va process uh is it like suitable to go for a va still uh, since you're a veteran so yeah uh, so the va va interest rates is just as compatible as the conventional loan and uh fha uh if you if you're a veteran the va is definitely uh most lenders would most likely tell you to go with va because the interest rates and plus you don't have to uh deal with the down payment um there is a couple of extra calls as far as like the termite inspection um, that's the only additional compared to FHA and conventional, but that, I mean that's I mean we would take care of for you. Uh, some lenders we can get it way for you. Uh, I mean it's only like seventy five bucks, somewhere between about fifty five to seventy five bucks. Yeah. To do, but it's just mainly it's just an additional thing for us the VA. But the VA is a definitely it's a separate entity from the FHA and conventional because 
uh, you have additional, you have a, you have extra rights that you don't have with FHA and mm -hmm. conventional. Um, they have what we call like a, 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 a terminate clause. So right now with the appraisal rate, uh, I mean, with everything with going on with putting the offer over the, the asking price of the appraisal comes under like $5,000 or $10,000, uh, the VA, you do have that right regardless if you signed a waiver to appraisal. It's, uh, it's a clause that's in the VA um, that you can back out if you like to. But if you really like the home, it's pretty much worth it because in Texas, that equity, you're going to get that equity back very soon. So um, with the VA, yes, I'll definitely, if you're a VA, you're a veteran, I'll definitely use your VA loan because it's almost, there's, there's no other loans that's compatible to it right now. Yeah. Um. So for any VA questions, uh, you can definitely reach out to um, Joel, and obviously we do commercial yes. also.